NFL Week 10 Big Game Previews. And there ain't a whole lot of them this week. Nope. But we're still going to have our five, and we'll have some honorable mentions just for you to have something to watch. So, uh, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Go over there, check out all their awesome sports books. They got Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, The Fitz, Gold Strike, and The Horseshoe. Awesome stuff. You can find out more information on those over at tunicatravel.com. You can get our picks, our previews, all of our wonderful stuff, including our football picks contest, over at winningcureseverything.com. Chris, I think the best game of the week is on Thursday. Man, you're probably right. The Panthers at the Steelers. The Steelers are a four-point favorite over under is 52. It's Thursday, 7.20 p.m. on Fox. Panthers have won four of the last five. They've covered three straight. The Steelers, four straight wins, four straight covers. How you feel about it? I'm interested to see how Cam plays in a game where I think he's going to have to score a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't I think, think that the Panthers' defense is going to hold uh, this offense in, in Pittsburgh to, to, to what they've been doing to these other teams. Pittsburgh is greatly different than the Redskins' offense, the Eagles' offense. The, the 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 Ravens offense that they've been playing yes. and able to beat up on this is this is a different class here. Well, and even though they they were still giving up points, but yeah, this is the Steelers team is a whole lot different. Uh, James Conner looks fantastic right now. Uh, he is making it where they really don't miss Le'Veon Bell all that much, which no. is a little bit surprising. But uh, yeah, I mean, I I think this is absolutely the best game of the week. It's it's the two hottest teams in the league right now. Uh, aside from maybe the Chargers and the Saints, um, Patriots. Uh, yeah, Patriots. You got a couple of teams that are on six game winning streaks. Yeah, um, but the the, these two, seven. these two have seemed to have found themselves. Oh, oh, completely agree. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to see. We talked about this earlier in the in the in the the breakdown. What does Le'Veon do to this Steelers offense? Does it put a jolt in them? And make them even more explosive, or, or does it mess up the chemistry? Does it? Yeah. Does it? Is it a locker room situation where you say, when he comes back, he says, "All right, I'm back," and you say, "Okay, we're going to pay you, and we're going to deactivate you. Yep. Just go sit over <laughs> go, there. Go home. Go home. You're getting paid. Go home. Go home. We don't. We don't want to mess up what we got going because we finally got it rolling, and we don't want to cut you so you can go play for somebody else. Yeah. We're just going to eat the, million, the this seven million dollars or whatever we owe you, <laughs> and now. then we might franchise you again for only ten million dollars. I know. That's so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. All right, uh, so yeah, I think that's probably the best game. Thursday night game on Fox. Uh, I mean, that's that's a good matchup. That's it. It's a good matchup. Game number two, the this Saints. Is a, this is a good game, too, though. Saints minus five at the Bengals. Over-unders 54. Pretty high number, but totally expected here. Uh, Sunday noon on Fox. It The Saints have had huge wins the last, like, three weeks. That's right. At some at, point, at do they the come Raven, back down? Yeah, at the Ravens, at the Vikings, and then home for the Rams. And then you get to go to Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a good team. They're not a great team. They're a good team. Yeah, and, yeah they're good. And they're and good. they get to come off a of bye week, I think. Since he coming off a of bye? They didn't play last week. And uh, so, yeah, I think since he's coming and off a of bye. And so they had two weeks to prepare for you. I, I think this is going to be a fight for the Saints. I really do. I yeah. don't see the Saints going in and just whipping their butt. I don't, I don't I think, think so. I think they're due for – Kind of just like a ho hum game it happens to everybody. Yeah, they're yeah, on a seven game right. win streak, man. That's hard to do in the NFL. Very, very difficult to do. Uh, both teams are obviously going to put up points. Uh, it's too. Uh, we'll, we'll call the Bengals a, a high power. Oh, offense. No. They're, they're an offense, man. They can score. Like Joe Mixon is is I mean, real. He's really good. Boyd and Green, good. And Dalton playing really well. Yeah, I so, mean it's it's a good. No, I, I good think that's a good team. offense. And so, and they'll put up points. I. If anything, I would probably bet the over fifty four. Yeah, I think obviously, because be, I uh, think all Saints games are going to be high overs, and I think it's going to be hard for them to not hit them. As the barstool guys say, life is too short to bet the under, so bet the over. Um, and man, that I mean, five points seems like a whole lot here. Like if I was going to bet the game, I might take the home team. No, if you told me I had to bet it. I would probably bet the Bengals also. I'm going to stay away from it. I'm that. staying away from it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to play it just because 
it's scary betting against Breeze and Kamara. And, and we, we did a whole breakdown. We spent a long time talking about them. Not one time did I mention uh, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. That's yeah. just shame. Shame on me. That's just – it, it, inappropriate. it happens. Inappropriate. They, they got a lot of weapons. That guy's a monster, though. They got a lot of you, weapons. You don't forget him. So, game number three, the Patriots sitting at seven and two. They are six and a half point favorites over the four and four Titans. Over under is only forty six and a half. Coming to Tennessee, baby. It's in Nashville Sunday, twelve o'clock CBS. That's the nooner. Kind of upset. I'm not going to be there. Yeah, I, was, I mean, you saw the. I you was saw the planning Patriots. on being there. My two trips to Boston. The wife said no. I can uh, I can understand Put that. Put a kibosh on it. So, um, do the Titans have a chance in this one? I think they do have a chance just because of the way they play. Um, there is reports that Sony Michelle is supposed to be back. The Patriots have a bye week after this game. I would not play Gronk or Michelle at all. If anybody is close to hurt, if you lose this game, it doesn't kill you. And I That's think it's going to be tough. But I don't even know that you can go with you, – you, you just beat Green Bay without them. Okay, and I don't know that Green Bay is a better team than Tennessee, but I think they got a better offense. But I, I do think that the Titans are. I mean, they we we've talked about this yeah, every week. They'll beat you up. They'll beat you up, so and I'm, they I will. Don't, I don't they'll like drag you into the mud. I don't like playing players that are not 100 percent healthy against a team that's kind of known for beating you up. Well, and a team that's that's hungry because like yeah. it, they they need wins to be able to stay with Houston. That's right. Because Houston's got what a six game winning streak right they're, now. They're one of the teams with a six game winning streak. And so and they're I mean they're uh a game and a half up on the Titans, right? Yeah. They they got so, a game up on everybody in that AFC South. Whew. Well, I mean the rest of the South is 3 and 5. Well, that's right. Yeah, so that's like right. Titans, so just Titans, Titans got a game up on on the on. Jags and the Colts. They got to be able to hang with Houston in order to do that. I mean, you got to win your home games. It's just tough to do when it's the Patriots. That's right. So this uh, will be a fun game to watch. I, I think this is going to be a really entertaining game. I think stylistically very, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, because I don't know what the – the Patriots are the best at changing their game plan every week to match what the other team does. Yeah. And I don't know, A, who you take away for the Titans that they're really good about taking a player away. Like, I don't think that the Titans hey, have you, a guy that you just say – Lewis is probably who they're going to say, you're not going to beat us. They value his skill set more than probably anybody else's. But offensively, I don't really know how you attack Tennessee and put up a lot of points. See, I don't know either. Like I, 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 I mean, I'm obviously not. I think so, I think Tom is gonna like he's, not Josh he, McDaniels. I'm not. I'm not Tom Brady. I don't have their brain. I think I think abilities. Tom Brady is is going to feel pressure in this game. Like I, I could a hundred percent see an, an interception or, or two oh, yeah. in this he's, one. Yeah, he's he's turned the ball over. Um, so you know, at that point, can Mariota in that offense convert, make plays? And I mean, they did against Dallas, but Dallas is a far cry from. What did from you the say Patriots. the over under was? Forty six and a half. Okay, uh, for some reason, my brain. I thought you said forty one. I was like, all right, there's no doubt both these teams are getting to the twenties. Now forty six and a half Ooh. makes it questionable. Yeah, that's that's tough. Because I mean, you're looking at. You know, twenty six to twenty, twenty four, twenty one. You're still hitting the under. Teams really haven't scored a lot on the Titans. No, uh, but and the teams Patriots really scored a lot on the Patriots. Yeah, say, and the Patriots can play defense. They can lock you down too. Yeah, uh, which is crazy game. because like it, early in the season they could not first, play defense. For first nothing. four games of the season, Ooh. man, it's so weird that Bill's just trying to fill this team out, and then after that he's like, "Let's All right, go, good, got it, got it, let's go." Uh, let's see, game number four. The Seahawks sitting at four and four at the Rams, who are eight and one. Rams are a ten point favorite at home. Over under fifty one. It's Sunday three twenty five on CBS. Seahawks three and two on the road, only one and two at home. So they've uh, they've done a little bit better yep. on the road than at home. Uh, the question here is how do the Rams react to their first loss? That's right. Um, and I, I, I mean, I don't know that anybody would have the answer to that. I mean, they got I, enough I, veterans on the team that you would think that they'll be fine. I don't know that I have the answer for it. I know that this game is in my gambling picks. And <laughs> well, I, then and I will I feel really strongly about it. Okay, okay. Well, we we can move off of that one. We don't have to. We can break it down a little bit if you want. Nah, there's no sense in that. If you're wanting to break down, go listen to Chris's pick on the gambling right. picks video, uh, <laughs> or or if you're listening on the podcast, the next segment. Just wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> The Cowboys at the Eagles is game number five. That's the Sunday night football game. This is one of the 
the best games of the weekend. Yeah, because it's it's too blah. To, and, and here's what's funny. Like, you think the Cowboys are just like blah, they're done, they're out of it, whatever. Well, they're desperate. They're definitely desperate. They're three and five right now, but the Eagles are only four and four. That's it. No, they're not and, out of it. And, and th- this division is there to be had by anybody but the Giants. Well, and, and Washington, like, they are what, six and three right now? Yep. So. Yeah. And, and they look catchable. Uh, yeah, I mean, they play at uh, the Bucks this week. It's not one of my games of the week, but like. Washington is just destroyed with injuries. They lost yeah. four starters in that game last week against the, the Falcons, two of them on the offensive line. I, I wonder, can they bounce back from that? They're at six wins. They might finish at six wins. Now, I could be wrong. You remember in my preseason predictions when I said they would go 5-11? and 11, Yeah. And I, I told you that this team gets hurt with injuries every single year, and you said you can't count on that. You can't count on that, man. But God, but it, it seems like you can with this team. I know. It's it's insane. It is it is really ridiculous. But uh, it, anyway, so back to Cowboys-Eagles. Uh, the Cowboys, like, Eagles are a six-and-a-half-point favorite. The over-under is only 43. So, obviously, Vegas does not respect either one of them's offense. Uh, it's Sunday, 7, 20 p.m. on I NBC. I think it could be the Eagles' defense is just going to shut them down. Th- this Cowboys' that. offense does not need respect. They've shown up for one game at home where they put up 40 on somebody. They, they need to start bringing Conor McGregor back around, and apparently. That's, yeah, and, that's, and that is it. Other than that, they are not an offensive football team. They're not good at offense at all. Um, their defense can show up. I could see this being a lower scoring game. But man, this Eagles team, they're coming off a of bye week. They they got this is this is put up or shut up time for them, right? Yeah. Like this is their opportunity to say, we're gonna take this division over. And if they don't do if they don't win this game, when are they gonna do it? And that's a good question. That's I mean, at, at this point, like if, if the Cowboys lose, they're three and six. Yeah. And they're pretty much out of it. So once you're out of it. Like, Jerry Jones did say the other night, like, he's not going to make a coaching change in the middle of the year. But. But, the, but then Monday night happened. But, well, no, no, no. This was after Monday night. So, I don't know. Like, I, I mean. Wording, you gotta, you gotta wording it that way, does that tell Jason Garrett you're fired at the end of the year? So, if that's the case, why is he trying? Or, if that's the case, like, do you just go balls out? No, God, no. I think like, I'm gonna. I know I'm getting fired. So let me just let me go balls out and work really hard for this guy that's gonna can me at the end of the year. Are you crazy? I mean, it, 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 like they're can- gonna look at this as I'm not canned yet. I'm gonna try and do everything I can. Like if we're losing the way that I'm coaching anyway, why don't we just throw everything we got? Well, he doesn't coach. That's the problem. Is he's the facilitator. He's the what you call him? Yeah, the clapper. That's what Mike Lombardi has stole that from Mike Lombardi. He is. There you he go. Is the clapper, and he just encourages the other coaches to do really good. Yeah, this this team went down the tubes when uh, when they lost Derek Dooley. They, <laughs> I mean, they really did. I mean, they've got Jason Garrett there to to be a cheerleader. He just gets the other coaches to be better. They lose this game. You are. Only two games away. Oh, from, from cash- hitting your under. Yeah, from cashing my ticket. Yeah, that's right. Believe that. I'm getting close. Oh, there's no doubt. They're not getting to nine wins. Like no. I'm not going to lose that bet. No, they'd have to go. Uh, what six and one? Six and one the rest of the season. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I think. I think that ticket, which is a juicy ticket to God, it's big. Yeah, you got a lot of money on that one. Good a juice lot of money. too. No juice. No juice. I got an even. I might Honorable mentions. No, no, no. You got even. I remember okay. that one. Yeah. Honorable mentions. Monday Night Football. Okay. Giants are one and seven. The 49ers are two and seven. Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins looks legit. Uh, are the Giants really this bad? How do we have the 49ers on a Thursday primetime spot and a Monday primetime spot in back to back weeks? How do we have the 49ers in prime, not the 49ers, the Giants in primetime like six times this year? At, that, that I can't understand. Like, like I understand. What, what we do? This is their third time this season to be on primetime. I understand what are we doing? between them and the Cowboys. I can get it, right? I understand. I, I don't like, get it. Well, no, it's it's they like won a, two games last year. Well, they they were thinking. I that, know. I thought they were going to yeah, win you twelve thought, games this year. Yeah, yeah, you had them. You had them eleven or yeah, twelve wins. I've been, I've been wrong before it happens. And they they did the same thing. But I don't get paid to season. make a schedule though, man. That's ridiculous. They, so they they're thinking, all right, we need the biggest brand in the biggest city in the world. But I see, but that's where I disagree. The NFL carries itself. Agreed. I'm telling you, if you put the Panthers and the Chargers on Monday Night Football, people are gonna watch. 
We agree. It's still the biggest draw there is. Just don't put the Cardinals on it, and you're fine. But but I will tell you this: like if you've got the Bucks when they're playing as bad as they are, and no, see, I disagree. Any other the Bucks put up points, people will watch them. I agreed, but if they are terrible, like the Giants are. Like, at least with the Giants, you've still got, like, a New York base, right? you got a New York base for the first half until they start getting beat. And then all of them turn the channels off and break their TVs. Yeah. No, you're right about so that. So, congratulations. You got half a game of ratings. But if you just put two decent teams, not even two good teams, two decent teams against each other, you're fine. Any one of these three games probably would have been better for Monday night. Uh, Lions at the Bears. The Bears are a seven-point favorite. I, I would watch that. I'd watch it too. Divisional game. Lions are three and five. Bears are five and three. The Bears are standing alone atop the A or the uh, NFC North. Uh, they win this one. I mean, they are even more standing yeah, alone. The, got, the Vikings are right there. The five, three, and one. But uh, the Vikings will have a bye week, so they won't be able to catch a game. So the Bears can take a, a bigger lead. You got that right. Half point, half game. Uh, Next one up, Jags at the Colts. I'm, I'm actually interested in this game. I As almost, you should be. I almost bet on it. This is bad football, but the Colts minus three. Uh, they're three and five. The Jags are three and five. The loser hits the seller. Like they're right. both in the cellar right now. They're both DFL. But, but whoever in, in whoever wins AFC this South. game, uh, look at this. I mean, if the Titans lose to the Patriots, the winner of this game second is then tied in second place. Second place. Congratulations. That's that's all I'm saying. And then uh, finally, last one: Dolphins at the Packers. Dolphins are quietly five and four. Uh, the Packers are three, four, and one. You and the Packers. The, you see the line on this game? Packers are ten point favorites. It's the Aaron Rodgers effect. It's just crazy. I just I, I can't I don't understand it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Dolphins are pretty good, even with Brock Osweiler. I mean, they're not terrible. Um, Play good defense. They run the ball. He's, yeah. he's being safe with the football. They limit possessions. Adam right. Gase knows he, he's a good coach. That's right. Keep, keep Aaron Rodgers on the field, on the sidelines. How, how would you feel about Adam Gase with Green Bay? I think he's a good coach. No, I, I do. Think I think he's, he'd do better I than do, Mike McCarthy. I think he is better than Mike McCarthy, but I think he's a really good coach. Think about the quarterbacks that that man has had. I do wonder. Jay, Jay Cutler last year, like – the years of and he's still up and able down to win games Tannen, that just Tannenhill. make no now, sense. Now he's got Brock Osweiler. Come on, dude. This guy is, and he he wins. He comes in second place in the AFC East every year. I I might would look at. I might put a little money on the money uh, the money line here. Woo! Hit it with the money. I love money line underdogs. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it, especially if you're a ten point underdog. That's a big. Number. That's gonna be like plus three hundred. Like that could be huge, man. You're it, you're taking a team. That has a better record and is and is probably outside of the quarterback position better at every other part of the football. Every yeah. other part of the game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, I, you get them. It's I, I might look at that. I guess you can see the lean that we're both probably. Yeah, I mean, I, no, I I don't have it in my gambling picks, but what? talking about you gonna bet money line on them, but you won't bet them in your gambling picks plus ten. No, because they, they scare me. Okay, Osweiler scares me to death. Oh no! It's <laughs> we, betting big dogs is not easy. It's not supposed to be no, easy. No, but that, it ain't going to be one of my official picks. I'll tell you that. All right, all right. I that's going to wrap up our NFL big game previews for week number ten. Don't forget tunicatravel dot com for all of your sports book information down in Tunica, Mississippi, and all of our picks previews and the football picks contest over at winningcureseverything.com. dot com. All right, we're rolling right along. We're doing okay.